we have our furnace, uh, charcoal furnace, it's uh, set up here. You might notice that I've uh, spread some sand just about the furnace area here just uh, as an extra safeguard in case some of this drier grass were to catch fire, so that's just an added safeguard. You have the uh, blower here ready to, uh, ready to go. Now notice how the steel pipe uh, is inserted into the rubber end of the blower hose and then that runs on into the twir of the furnace. Also, uh, we're going to be melting uh, aluminum. The aluminum, uh, the particular aluminum we'll be melting. This came from a lawn chair that I disassembled. I've got a, several pieces of that, as well as some of the uh, sprues that came from other other castings. We'll be melting those. The uh, spoon here, the stainless steel spoon, is really a kitchen spoon. I'll be using that shortly to skim the dross off the top of the melt. And uh, it's too cold in the foundry this afternoon to actually ram up a mold. Uh, the sand's frozen, but in order to show you how the, the, the foundry furnace works, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that this afternoon, and we'll pour the, um, the molten aluminum into this cupcake tin. So we'll be making aluminum cupcakes this afternoon. The uh, also uh, steel pot that we'll be using to, uh, to melt the metal in, this is uh, just a piece of pipe uh, with, a, with a flat uh, other piece uh, welded there on the end. Uh, Dad talks about this type of thing in his book, The Charcoal Foundry. And uh, the crucible will actually just rest there in the bottom of the furnace on top of a couple of layers of, of charcoal. The uh, crucible tongs, we have two, two pair of crucible tongs here that we'll be using this afternoon. Uh, we have one set of tongs that will raise the crucible actually from the top. So we'll be bringing the crucible out of the furnace from the top like so and we'll set it over to the side, set it down. Those will come off and then we'll come from the actual side of the uh, crucible in this manner here and uh, then pour the uh, aluminum into the tab of charcoal here, a can of lighter fluid as well. And uh, so we'll go ahead and begin layering the charcoal in the bottom of the furnace and uh, we'll get that lit and get things going. Okay, we're layering some charcoal into the bottom. We start out by layering oh, a couple of layers of charcoal, just uh, right on the bottom there. And uh, if you can actually see me doing that, I'll kind of maybe try to tilt the furnace your way, the way the camera just a little bit. We're just uh, kind of putting this uh, charcoal into the bottom, a couple of layers. And I'm kind of trying to lay those down there sort of flat so that uh, whenever I do put the, uh, the uh, furnace, or not the furnace, but actually the crucible pot on top of that, that it'll be sort of level. Uh, we'll start out with a couple of layers and then we'll, we'll light that. And we'll give it a little bit to get those coals going and then we'll add additional layers of charcoal until the pot, so that the pot fits, but uh, the height of the pot doesn't come all the way up to the very top of the furnace, but just a little bit beneath. So we'll be adding some additional charcoal here in just, just a few moments. But at this time, we'll go ahead and put some lighter fluid onto this and we'll go ahead and light it. Well, as I mentioned, we're ready to put the lighter fluid here on the uh, charcoal. First, I want to move the bag here a little bit out of the way. It's getting a little late in the evening here in, in Missouri. We'll try to get this done even though we have daylight. Uh, but at any rate, we'll go ahead and open the lighter fluid and we'll go ahead and put a little lighter fluid here on the charcoal. That so a little bit. Of course we want to close that lighter fluid can up and move it as far away, you know, quite a little distance away. When we light the match we wouldn't want to catch the can on fire, so we'll move this out of the out of the area of the furnace. And we'll go ahead and light the fire here. And it is it is the fire is lit. And we'll let those coals get started here and then uh, here in just a bit we'll add a few more coals to the fire. So the coals are starting to uh, warm up nicely here and believe we can add a few more at this time. We'll go ahead and do that and get the charcoal over here. What we want to do is uh, layer a few more coals here so that the front so that the crucible will rest in there uh, near the top but not absolutely on the top. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, let's a few more to kind of level it off a little bit. I don't know what we got going on with it. Let's 
looking fairly well. Now we can actually, we don't want to just cram uh, these charcoal briquettes in the side, but we can just fill up around the side here of the, uh, of the crucible between the wall of the furnace and actually the crucible itself. Do that here. Just filling up just right around the edge there between the, between the crucible and the, uh, the wall of the furnace. That's looking pretty good there. Good. Put some aluminum. We'll put some of our aluminum in the uh, in the pot here. Let's go ahead and do that. Some of these shorter end pieces. Like so there we go. We can add some more, of course, later as that begins to melt. Go ahead and put our lid on the furnace. Go ahead and turn our blower on, and we are ready to melt aluminum. It'll take just a. It'll take 10 or 15 minutes for this to get good and heated up. And there we go. So we'll wait here a few minutes and we'll revisit this again when uh, when it begins to get a little warmer. We've got a pretty good fire going in the foundry now. You can see uh, in the furnace now, you can see the flames uh, shooting up there fairly well. Oh, we'll give it here about another five or 10 minutes and then we'll uh, check the charcoal level. We may add a bit more charcoal. We'll have a look and see if uh, how our aluminum is doing and beginning to it's beginning to soften or melt. Uh, we may add a little bit of more aluminum to the crucible at that time. So at any rate, everything is going forward as we would hope, and uh, just a matter of uh, waiting a few more minutes to see where we stand. Well, it looks like we our aluminum in the bottom there is beginning to melt, so we can go ahead and add some of the uh, pieces that we've uh, that we have here to uh, go ahead and try to fill up the rest of the crucible. Here's one piece here, we can kind of add it right in through the top, just like so. See as it begins to fall right in. We've had a really uh, a nice speedy melt uh, on this. It's taken us about 10 minutes to reach this uh, temperature. We can go ahead and add, add another tube in through here. Right in through the top of the hole, see how it just drops right, it just drops right on in. This time, I'm going to go ahead and turn the blower off and uh, go. Okay, we'll put the lid back on. Go ahead and turn the blower back on. Well, I believe we're, I believe we have a melt ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the blower. And pull the lid. And there we go. Go ahead and stir that up just a bit. Yeah, it's ready to go. Okay, we're going to skim the dross off. Spoon here. It's kind of, there's quite a little bit in that. Off to the side there. There we go. Now we're going to reach in and grab this pot, just like so. We're going to bring it right on out. We're going to set it on top of that fire brick. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and pour this now. Grab it from the side. Just like so. Took about a total of about 15 minutes maybe 20. And there we go, and there you have it. Melting and pouring aluminum using the charcoal foundry.